YouTube! What's going on? It's your boy T back at it again with another episode of Talking with T. Let's get into it. Let's get after it, man. We're gonna go over some Detroit Lions headlines going into mini camp. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. All right, before we get into the storylines, before we get into the headlines, I got a little bit of a rant, man. I am so darn seeing people bash the Detroit Lions, man. The Detroit Lions came out with a hat. New Era came out with a hat for, I'm assuming, all the NFL teams in the league, right? And the Detroit Lions got an ugly hat. I wouldn't wear it personally, but the Detroit Lions got the logo right here and the, uh, an L right there. And the article says, Detroit Lions give themselves an L, 0-16. It's like, why do we even have to keep bringing that up? We got a whole new regime here, whole new competent coaching staff here, and we're going to continue to keep bringing up the past. Like I say in my other videos, man, you got to come to terms with the past. You got to come to peace with the past, man. The reason why the Lions have sucked in the past is because we've had bozo coaches. Jim Schwartz could only coach defense. He's a hell of a defensive coordinator. Then you got... Jim Caldwell, who can never call a timeout to save his life. And then you had Matt Patricia, who would come in here, never make an adjustment, and he would come in here and say, oh, we're just going to continue to work hard and go off the scheme. We got a whole new coaching staff, new faces, new quarterback in here that know what they're talking about. Every time they come up on the, on the podium, they're talking about something smart. They know what they're talking about. I'm so sit darn seeing people bash the Detroit Lions. If you watched majority of Lions games from the past years, they've been in games. They just can't make adjustments. And that comes down to coaching. So stop bringing up the past. That's just my little rant. You can call me crazy in the comments below, but I'm so sick of bringing up the past. Now let's get into some of these storylines. <laughs> TJ Hawkinson was on Good Morning Football praising this morning, praising Jared Goff. I'm excited for Jared Goff. I'm hearing he's having an impressive offseason so far, coming off into a new team. He's got that chip on his shoulder, man. I would get traded for my the team that's drafted me number one overall. Like I'd be pretty upset about that. And that coach gave up on me. Yeah, I would come to a new team with a chip on my shoulder and want to prove everybody else wrong. And the other reason I'm excited for him is because Pro Football Focus came out today with an art yesterday with an article saying the Detroit Lions have a top five offensive line unit. You want to know why that's encouraging? Because you know where Jared Goff excels at? The play-action pass. And if you have two home run hitters in the backfield that can run for a 70-yard touchdown every time they touch the ball, and you got an offensive line, that sets up play-action pass. And to not leave it out, you have a tight end going into year three that's coming off a pro ball year. That's super encouraging. This might be one of Jared Goff's best offensive units he's had in his whole career. Yeah, their receivers aren't as good as he, what he had in L.A., but they don't need to be when the play-action pass is getting set up by these running backs in the backfield. And these guys can go out and catch the ball too. This is an encouraging offense. If you don't see it, I don't know. You're blind. And I've met some of the receivers at my job this weekend. It was very cool. I can't say where I work at, but Tyrell Williams, Damian Ratley, and Geronimo Ellison, super down-to-earth guys. I told them, like, good luck this year. I appreciate the vibe they're making. And they were just cool guys to talk to, man. And I'm, I'm rooting for them. I'm rooting for them, too. Like, I hope you guys should be rooting for them, too. Like, stop saying they suck. They're here. They're our receivers. So let's hope they turn it around. And the final headline we got, Julian Okorio came to the podium the other day saying he's so excited to play with Romeo, just like Romeo was saying. He was excited to play with Julian again. And they're trying to... Both get double-digit sacks, both coming off the edge, meeting at the quarterback. They want to become the sack brothers, just like up in Green Bay. They got the Smith brothers. Minicamp starting today. I'm excited to see the headlines that are coming out of minicamp this week. Obviously, this is all excitement. Obviously, I'm a little biased right now. We haven't played a down of football yet. We'll see what happens. But I really believe the Lions are going to be a lot better than what people are making them out to be. And not saying we're going to the playoffs. Not saying we're going to win the division. But we're not going to be the worst team in the league. We're not going to be the fifth worst team in the league. We're going to be a pretty decent. I see us being in the middle of the pack this year. I really do. It's your boy T signing out. I'll see you in the next video.